Can you walk us through your story in the last year? I mean, 2013 was probably the craziest year of your life. Or I don't know, maybe not if you're you know, on reserve duty. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I think that's the first, going from reserve duty to boardroom. Yeah, <laughs> in 48 hours. It's a huge transition. You're building a company from scratch. I know, I think it was a year you guys uh, shipped 200 units before the Kickstarter. I want to come to that later. But mm. what was that 12 months for? Uh, like you, I know you left the Israel tech community and you mm. came to the London one. Mm. We'll talk more about that later too. But what was mm. the first 12 months like? A, a real roller coaster um, <clears throat> combined by a personal journey moving from the country that I love, that I was born and raised in, which is Israel. Uh, after you know, 20, 29 years of living there, I moved to a whole new world, right? London, a global city, uh, really a kind of a, an epicenter of the world, uh, very international, people from all over the world, very big, very exciting very different culture from the one I've been part of in Israel. So there was a lot of kind of personal accommodation that I had to do and still doing. Um, but for me, it's more of, um, you know, it's kind of, I have a sense of mission by coming here to London. Uh, it wasn't like, I want to live in London, so I'm going to move to London. It was, I want to build Canada together with my co-founders and build a great company. And we've decided that London is going to be the place. You know, so I'm just going to be there. I'm just going to go there. We're going to start the company. And... It was um, kind of um, a rolling story, you know, you arrive, okay, you need to work now on an entrepreneur visa. So, you know, this great institution that um, the UK uh, government created, <clears throat> which is the, uh, the entrepreneur visa. So we had, to, we had to kind of work on that, but it was pretty straightforward. You know, three months time, I got an entrepreneur visa after we showed all the documents we need. Got a great support from, you know, the UK embassy and the UK TI. Um, that what, kind are, of, what are the details of the entrepreneur visa? Just so some of our audience may not understand. Yeah, it's, and then uh, it's mm. great to know how yeah. hard it was because yeah. we never know. Mm. So first of all, I think it's a, it's a phenomenal thing. The, the entrepreneur visa. Um, it doesn't exist in the States, right? It doesn't Nothing exist, like I think, it. anywhere in the world. I think maybe in Berlin, okay. to some extent, because they're also very promotional on getting entrepreneurs to build companies in, in Germany. But basically for me, it was, um, you know, submitting a, an application. And the key criteria for getting the entrepreneur visa were that I'm one of the founders of the company. Obviously, it's a UK company. Um, uh, uh, it has a bank account in the UK, so you need to prove that you have a certain amount of investment. It doesn't matter where the investor is from, but you need to show that you have the money from investors in a UK bank account that belongs to the company where you need to be a director. Okay. There was also kind of a four hours English test that I had to do in Israel, which was obviously exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and um, conversations with the UK TI or kind of the commercial team in the UK embassy in Tel Aviv. And they needed to kind of, kind of, uh, let's say, approve the process and the application, and um, and and kind of um, recommend for for me to get an entrepreneur visa. So they ask for some, um, you know, business plans, prove that there is actually a business happening. So there's like a very very structured way of getting the entrepreneur visa, which you need to accommodate to. Uh, but if you tick all the boxes, I mean, in three months' time, I got an entrepreneur visa. Is it two years or it's, uh, is it tied to it's, the company? It's uh, three and a half years and it's tied to okay. the company I, I, that I started. Yeah. Okay. Did you ever think <clears throat> about um, starting this company in Israel? Did you pitch that originally? Cano? Yeah. No, there was no point of time where that was um, an option. The, the idea was that we want to build a global company from day one. Um, we knew that the Raspi Pi are based in the UK, in Cambridge. Right. Um, you know, both Sol and Alex at that time were in the UK. Uh, Sol lives here and Alex was doing a master's in Cambridge. Um, so the whole idea was that London is the right place at the right time with the right, potentially the right story. Um, so we were very kind of um, firm on it's going to happen in London. And you basically shipped those, those 200 units before your Kickstarter campaign in January. I think my numbers are roughly right. So that was the entire 2013. You have pretty accurate information, I have yeah, to say. Okay. Uh, I have my sources. 